Today's video is sponsored by ClearMax for photo. More on that later. So I was scrolling through Instagram and I found this beautiful art by Ali Fakur. Sorry if I pronounced that wrong. So I thought it would be cool if you, you know, have some animation to this image. Import that into Photoshop. I separated the subject from the background. By the way, if you don't know how to do that, I have already covered that in the previous tutorial. Go and watch this video save it as a photoshop file and we're gonna import that inside after effects and we're gonna do some animation if you pay a closer attention to the image you see some perspective and some ground plane that you have on the image so if you just place the subject on top of the background and put it in 3d space and dolly in the camera it's not going to have a three-dimensional perspective like that. So we're going to use a different technique and a different approach. Unlike our previous tutorial, we're going to use an image projection system to bring this image to life. All right. So let's fire up After Effects and let's get started. I'll drag and drop the Photoshop file inside the project panel. Choose the composition, retain layer sizes. Hit OK. If you double click here, you, you have the same exact thing. So before proceeding, let's talk about ClearMax for Photo. This is an AI photo enhancer tool that lets you upscale a low resolution image. It can also repair a very, very old images. So let me show you what I mean by that. So this is the software. Let's just import an image. Just go to the top. I'll select portrait because this is an image of a human. So I'll select portrait. I want to upscale it 400%. Check this scratch repair and I'll just hit enhance now. All right, you can see that it has repaired the image and upscale the resolution as well. It has done a very good job. You can see that. So let's say you have some other images to process. Maybe you have another two images. No worries, just go here in the batch process and I'll just add another two, which is this and this one. I'll just open that and click on the first one you have already enhanced. Apply to all images. Yes. And just click enhance and it's going to apply that to all the images that you have just imported. And you can just hit this export and it's going to open up. You can just preview. You can see that. The final results are here very very nice all right let's just import let's just import this let's just go to this and maybe we're gonna do some colorize model maybe old photo right so enhance this bam you can see that it's been colorized very easily like that you can just export it and you're done so i will just go ahead and upscale this image that we just use in our project just drag and drop it and i'm gonna go 200 percent and enhance now and you can see the before after you can just zoom in you can just see the detailing it has enhanced the photo very very nicely one more thing i would like to show is that if you go here you can just click on this crop icon and, and you can just crop this away. You can just, you know, rotate it and flip if you want. And you have some aspect ratio selection. I'll just go with customize and I'll just crop this and hit done. Do the scratch repair once again. All right, that's how you do it. Check out ClearMax for photo. And if you buy from my link below and use this coupon code, you'll have a 30% discount. All right, let's go back to After Effects. All right, the first thing I'm gonna do is make all this a 3D layer. Create a new camera. And I'm gonna create a new solid by hitting Control Y. Make it the comp size, hit OK. And I'll add a grid grid and make this a 3d layer and hit r rotate the x rotation to 90 and i'm gonna move it down so what i'm gonna do is i'm going to try to match the angle of the floor with this solid so i'll just turn off the 3d for this background and we can see it better like that if needed you can just extend this and scale it up like this and maybe move it like that scale it up right so once you're done hit aa for the material options go to accept lights and set this to off you can go and click this out and what i'm gonna do is duplicate this Control d and go to two views hit r and i'm gonna set back this 90 to zero 
and move this back and just place it at the edge of this so move this up move this up somewhere here make sure they touch each other here all right once you have that you can just select these layers click on this effects in that way it just shut off the effect for the grid you can just shut off the eye for these layers except for the background let's go to two views here all right let's create a new light light and it's gonna be a spotlight and i'll just turn on the cast shadows 100 percent and hit ok you can just select the camera hit p i'll copy the position of the camera and paste it to the spotlight and the background layer make sure you turn on this 3d back to the for the for the background layer select the background and the spotlight and i'm going to paste the position of the camera so you don't see anything here that's because you can just go here in the left view and if you see here the camera is here and the background is just at the position of the camera which the camera cannot see so i'm gonna push the z-axis and put it slightly away from the camera so that the background is visible as you can see here so i'm gonna scale this down so that we can see scale it down scale down that's too much maybe i'm gonna scale it down to one percent that's a little too low Oops. two yep you can just manually adjust the size here all right you can just go to one view now one last settings that i want to do is go to the background hit aa and go and change these cast shadows to only by clicking two times and increase the light transmission to 100 right so if you dolly in the camera now hit c to toggle between different modes of the camera if you dolly in you can see that you have a very very nice camera 3d camera movement there right so i'll what i'm going to do now is select the camera hit p shift and a set a keyframe and go to the last and i'm gonna dolly inside like this that creates a camera animation very very cool you can just select this f9 for easy ease and i can turn back the chair maybe i don't need the glow and the bush i just need the subject here and what i'm gonna do is animate the subject hit p set a keyframe maybe I'm, gonna, maybe I'm gonna go and push it down here and go to the last and push it up here and i'll do the same for the chair hit r and go and set the keyframe for orientation in the first frame go to the last and maybe I'm going to move the chair something like this maybe even more and you can select all the keyframes F9 for easy ease alright one more thing I added was the text ascend and make this center and if I turn on the 3D you can see it's it's not visible right now go to the two views and you can see that it has to go behind the subject maybe somewhere around here go to one view and hit aa on the text and i don't want the lights except off i don't know sometimes this works and sometimes this doesn't work i exactly don't know what happened here maybe i could just you know turn the shadows on only off and accept lights off maybe you could just reposition accept lights off
see that after a couple of tweaks like that sometimes it appear and sometimes it doesn't i exactly don't know what happened if someone knows what what exactly is going on there kindly please let me know in the comment section below all right so let me just put it here and if i play back now a very subtle movement there and what i also add was a particle system so maybe let me get it down to 130 oops 130 not 430 all right let me just put it set it to like this and i'll create a new solid and rename it particle system and what i'm gonna do is cc particle world and go to producer and extend the x i'm gonna extend the y and z so that we have some depth and i'll just collapse that go to physics and change this to i don't know directional axis and i think the velocity should be at 0.5 and the gravity i want the particles to go up so i need a negative negative well you know i don't know one play back now all right let's put that for now our resistance maybe 10 let's close that go to particles and let me just change the this to faded sphere and i'm going to change this birth color to white and set this depth color to i don't know something like this color maybe a brighter one right so i'm going to change this particle blending mode to add and if i play back now very very nice you can even increase the bird size and the dead size for the size of the particles depending on what you want i just want this to be there from the beginning so maybe i'll just push this layer like this and extend this and if i play it back you have a very very cool effect and i hope you learned something from this if you haven't watched this video go check out that video this is motion designer and i will see you in my next video take care